Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you something a little fun, creating a game in Excel. Believe it or not, you can actually create games, and it's really because of Excel's ability of using formulas and macros, and that's all games are, is having some kind of code in behind it that tell it to do certain things based on certain actions. So we're going to start off with building a basic slot machine game here. So we're going to start off by making a title here. And we can merge and center, and you can do all kinds of color formatting, but we're not going to waste time on that in this particular game. We just want to get the basics down. So we're going to be first uh, doing some random numbers. So we're just going to call this random 1, 2, and 3. And you can give it any title you want. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just throwing something up there so that we know that we're going to be having randomly generated numbers, and we're going to have three of them here. So the important thing now is getting the right code to go behind this. So as with any kind of coding that you're doing here, when we're doing a formula, we start off with an equal sign. And we're going to do a random generated number, and it's going to be a range. So rand between shows up here. We'll select that and tab. And then we start with the lowest number, comma, and the highest number, which we'll just stick with three for now, just so it's easier to uh, test this with for now. Once we know the game is tested and working, then we can increase the numbers. So we'll close that off, tab out, and we have our first generated number. We'll just copy that across to all three cells, and there we go. We now have automatically generated numbers. Once you hit F9 on the keyboard, it automatically refreshes them all, and you can see that they're all changing. Now that we have that part working, we're going to want to do something else. So we're going to have some message here saying whether or not we won. So this will be an if then statement. So if we go into if and because it's going to be a couple different tests that it's going to do. We're going to have uh, our cells here is in my case, it's D6 equals E6. So those two cells that are highlighted now blue and red, they have to equal each other. And then we'll add a comma. We also want to make sure that D6 equals F6. We'll close that off, put in a comma, and then we want to have the value for if this is true. So if it's true and all these things equal each other we're gonna say winner and if they're not true then we're gonna say loser and close that off and actually I made a mistake I just noticed which is why it's got an error I have to actually put quotes on this thing because it's a string there. So we can see it says loser. And hitting F9, if we hit it enough times until we have them all match, we can see it says winner. Okay, so now that we got that working, we want to actually create a button so that we can press that to make it spin. So you can do that a number of ways, but if you want to use the developer tab, you can go in there. If you don't have the developer tab, you can click anywhere from inside any one of these tabs and go into customize a ribbon, and you'll see the developer tab option here. Just put a check mark on it if it's not already there. So then when you're in the developer tab, you can go into insert and choose a button. And we can put that button anywhere. It really doesn't matter where it goes. And I'm going to call that spin. And I'm going to hit record. And I'm not going to assign anything else to it. I'm going to leave it as spin. So we'll hit OK. It shows here in the developer tab. It says stop recording. So it's currently recording. So all I'm going to do, press F9 once. And then I'm going to hit stop recording it's now generated a macro. So I'm just going to click away from there and we'll hit this button and we can see it updates the numbers. So as I'm continuing to hit the button we keep getting different numbers. So 
what we want to do now that we've got the basics down is maybe a little bit of customizing. So aside from changing the color and font and that sort of thing, we want to have some other code that tells it how to display the colors. So we'll have a conditional color format on here. So that under the home screen, conditional formatting, manage the rules, we'll create a new rule, cells that contain equal to loser format that and we'll say maybe I want to change the background and you can do anything you want any of these options in here you can change the whole thing if you want we'll even say italic and so we've got that in there and we'll apply it and that worked over there now we want to add one more for winner equal to winner and we'll format that and you can do anything you want maybe bold and italic on that one and I'll change the background and the font color just so it's legible and okay that apply and okay and then we'll hit the button a few times until we get a winner so that we can see that it lights up green for a winner which it does so now maybe what you want to do is uh, make this whole thing a little bit bigger. And you can customize everything exactly how you want. You can position this button somewhere else as well. You have to right click on it to activate it for editing and then position that maybe down here, maybe shrink it up a little bit whatever you want to do you can even edit the text on there and we'll say sp spin or whatever you want now one other interesting thing you might want to do because numbers are just boring we can highlight all this and I've seen other people do it in a more complicated way with so many extra steps but I'm going to show you in less than half the steps and so easy all we do is go to format the cells in the font and we'll go down to find wind dinghies which I passed and I think this one's a good one I'll hit OK and now we've got symbols instead of numbers so every time we spin we'll have different symbols to work with one more thing you want to remember at the very end here is we only have it going looking at three different numbers so you will want to change that and make the range a bit higher maybe one to nine but remember to do that on all of them because otherwise the others are still going to be looking at just three different numbers it's going between so we want them all to look at nine so every time we're spinning it's going between nine different numbers now if you want to you can also change all of these conditional formatting manage the rules on these and then we'll do another one where it's equal to for that particular number then we can have a different color so whatever we want on that one and we'll just keep going equal to two and choose a different color and we'll go through this so I'll, I'll just quickly skip ahead here and add the rest of them in Okay, so we've got a bunch of different uh, colors here and we'll, we'll uh, see how that works out. So except for one, it's got just a plain white, but the rest of them I, I put colors on all of them. So uh, nine is actually um, blank. But anyway, you can customize that how you want and you can see that the colors help make it stand out as well. So you can do so much more with this than what I've done here but feel free to uh, play with this modify it and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more like this 
and I'm happy to make other videos for you at your request. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.